My biggest fear when doing this is that a booger will come out on my face. Good morning, my name is Michelle and today I'm going to be taking you through my morning and night routine along with all the products I've been using lately. I don't really do anything too drastic anymore just because before I was using like 30 different products on my face and I think that was like really irritating and sensitizing to my skin. So I've kind of had to simple it down a bit just so I could give my face a little bit more time, be a little bit more patient and sort of let it heal itself. Lesson learned, less is more. I've gotten dressed, brushed my teeth, the only thing I need to do now is get my face done so we're gonna get started with that okay so i moved the camera a bit hopefully you can still see what's going on sorry i can't put it super close this mirror is kind of in the way but hopefully you can still kind of see i'll talk you through it so so no matter the weather i always like to wash my face with cold water just because i find that hot water kind of makes it a lot more red and irritated and i don't want to sensitize my face even more by having like super hot water warm water can be really drying to my face especially in the winter so i'm just going to splash a little bit on my face <laughs> So next I'll go in with this Aveeno Clear Complexions Cream Cleanser. I've been using this actually since I was 12 years old. I've like switched back and forth, but I've always come back to this just because it's super gentle. It never dries out my face that much. Like after you use it, you don't get that squeaky clean feeling. If it does do that, it means it's drying out your face a lot, which is a big problem. This has always been super gentle, so I've kept at it. It also has salicylic acid in it, which is very nice. Generally, I try to use products that don't have any scents in it just because it can be really sensitive to your skin. This one has perfume in it, which is a scented product, but it's very, very low on the ingredient list. And plus it's a cleanser that you wash off right away, so I don't really worry too much about that. But generally with serums and lotions that you're gonna be having on throughout the day, I would recommend that you find one that doesn't have any scents in it. Take a little bit of that. I thought maybe a little bit too much today. So I'm just gonna rub that all over my face. My face dried up a bit, but. For a while in the morning, I stopped cleansing just because my skin was super, super sensitized. So even like the lightest cleansers in the morning would kind of irritate my skin. But since then, I think the moisture barrier has kind of rebuilt itself. So I've kind of introduced a face wash back into my morning routine. But if you are experiencing really bad irritation, I would try to look into just cleansing in the nighttime. Just because at night, you don't really go anywhere that will accumulate dirt on your face. It's mostly just you washing off the products from the night before. Maybe see if that's the best decision for you. It was really good for my skin. It didn't really break me out more. Yeah, something definitely lo worth looking at. Doing too much sometimes can really still mess your face up. All right, I'm just gonna wash this off. And when you're washing your face, try not to rub too hard. Just be really, really gentle with it. All right, so now that all the cleanser's off, I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit damp, just so I can apply my other skincare products. I usually like to do it when it's still a little bit wet, just because it feels a lot more light. I heard that it helps absorb the products a lot better into your skin, especially the hyaluronic acid, which does need water to sort of perform well. So first off, I'm going to be using the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. Everybody and their mother uses this product, but I love it and it does work for me. So I'll click a little bit. While my face is still damp, I will rub it on. So again, from The Ordinary, I use a Alpha Arbutin 2% and Hyaluronic Acid sort of serum mix thing. This helps lighten hyperpigmentation. I actually haven't found that it lightens my hyperpigmentation that much. It's a pretty slow process, but the Hyaluronic Acid is nice to have in my routine because it does really help keep the moisture in my skin. Use a little bit of that, and this works best when your face is damp. So I would recommend if you're using Hyaluronic Acid to put it on a damp face. So next up, I'm going to be using this Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer by Aveeno. Um, it's the one that kind of goes with this one. It has salicylic acid in it as well. And last time I checked the ingredient list, I don't think this had scent in it. So it's good for the whole day because you don't want to have a lot of scented products on your face throughout the whole day. And to be honest, this has been working for me for a pretty long time, so I just keep on using it. So again, apply that onto your sort of damp face now. And finally, for SPF, I will use this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunscreen. This one's meant for your face, so it won't break you out. It hasn't broken me out so far. I've tried the Zinc Sunscreen just because I wanted it to be good for the environment, but <laughs> when I used it, it did not blend into my face. So I use that like when I'm going swimming or something, and I don't want the sunscreen to get into the water. But for daily face wear, I try to not use that. <laughs> so again, rub it into your damp face. I think I have 
have an ear infection. My ear has been in pain these past couple days. Whenever I wash my face, I always get all over the sink and my parents are like, why do you get all over the sink? And that's all that I do for the morning. It wasn't too bad, I don't think. I had like five different products, which is like not nearly as bad as what it used to be. So now I'm just gonna moisturize my lips and then I will move on to my makeup routine. All right, so my face is properly beat. I'm just gonna go through my day and I'm just gonna go see my cousin now. Later on, I will see you in the nighttime and I will take off my face and go through my whole like nighttime routine. My laptop is overheating. I've been getting some really good suggestions lately about like skincare products. The thing is though, I'm broke. Also, my skincare routine is kind of working with me right now, so I don't really have like a reason to change it that much. But I do look at the suggestions and I do write them down, so thank you very much for everybody that has been suggesting any skincare product. But for now, until I get a job or something, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. 12 o'clock midnight. Alright, so I'm back from the day. I'm gonna be a little bit more quiet this time because it's like 12.30 and my parents are sleeping. But I'm just gonna take you through my makeup removal process now. Usually, I would take off all my makeup in the shower, but today I'm just gonna do it here first and then I'm gonna take a shower just to show you what I usually do. My face has gotten a little bit greasy so it makes it a little bit easier to get the makeup off. Let's just get into it. So to remove my makeup I use a two-step cleansing process. I go in with the oil to loosen up the makeup and then I go in again with my cleanser to wash off the oil that I use to loosen my makeup. So I actually used to use a cleansing balm, but that dried up my face a lot, so I switched over to this Ordinary Rosehip Oil. So I'm gonna wet my face a bit, and then I'm gonna go in with the oil cleanser. I'm not sure if this is the best oil cleanser option, but it works for me, and this is what I do, so I'm still gonna share it. So I usually use like two drops of this, or as much as you need. And so I'll just rub that around all over my face just to loosen everything up. And then afterwards, I will go in with my regular cleanser. I do the exact same thing as in the morning, except I don't do the SPF. So in with the niacinamide. And then with the hyaluronic acid. And finally, the moisturizer. All right, so the makeup is off and that's basically all that I do for my night routine and my morning routine. So I finished up with all the rest of my night duties. Now it's time for me to go to bed. Sorry if the lighting's a little bit off. I'm using my laptop screen. Before I end off the video, I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, thank you so much for all the support. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. It is so insane to me that people are actually watching me and talking to me. I love reading the comments so much and I'm sorry if I take a little bit longer to get to some of them. I'm not on the internet too much, but I will, I literally read all of them and I'm trying to reply to every single one so thank you thank you so much i really really appreciate it i genuinely mean it when i say that i have not been this happy in so long it's not just because of numbers it's because i feel like i'm actually making an impact on people's lives and that is insane to me so thank you so much for giving me that opportunity i just really really appreciate that second i just want to say i know my skincare routine is not perfect i'm still learning i'm still in the process of learning like everything about skincare so if you have anything to say i'm really open to learn and listening to what you have to say so I just want the comment section to be a very positive place where people are comfortable sharing their experiences stories lessons and just everything in general so thank you so much again thank you for watching if you got this far I hope you have a great night I hope you have a great day this is actually the last night that I'm gonna be sleeping in this house that I've lived in for 16 years so now I'm gonna cry myself to sleep but I will see you next time in a brand new location so thank you again and I will see you <laughs> My doggy says good night too.